we are looking at different type of software testing first is black box testing black box testing means the system is black box for us and we only want to check the functions so this is also known as functional testing so here we have srs that is the software requirement specification where the requirements were there so this testing is purely based on these requirements so tests are based on requirements and the functionality as we said that black box testing is also known as functional testing then we have white box testing white box testing means this is a system now we want to check the internals of it so this testing is based on the knowledge of the internal logic of application code all the ifs and whiles and dos and fors are being tested this is also known as glass box testing internal software and code working should be known for this type of testing and the tests are based on the coverage of code statements the branches the paths and the conditions so mostly we want to see that all the paths they are covered or not and uh, the important aspect is we want to achieve the 100% code coverage which is not always possible but still all the the say if i say that i make a graph okay i make a graph so i want to check this this uh, line also this line also so the independent path all the independent path we want to check in white box testing in the unit testing this is the uh, unit level testing the name suggests that it can be a simple module a basic module it can be a function it can be a procedure so testing of individual software components or the module is the unit testing typically done by the programmer most often not by the testers as it requires the detailed knowledge of the internal program design and code it may require developing test driver modules or test harness so if you want to test a module here okay this is a module and the modules above it in the hierarchy are not being made so we make the drivers for this and consider that we have modules which are being called by these module or this module which we are interested in then we make the stops incremental integration testing Integr in integration testing or incremental integration testing this is a bottom up approach for testing so continuous testing of an application as new functionality is added once you add the functionality you need to check that functionality may have added certain error or not so application functionality and modules should be independent enough to test separately this is done by programmers or by testers then the integration testing integration testing we have a integration plan before that so testing of integrated modules to verify the combined combined functionality after they are being integrated that means if you have this one this module combine it with this one and see that they are working fine or not after integration and uh, if i say i can add one by one this is also true otherwise these two are uh, of similar nature these two are similar nature so combine these two combine these two check them and then combine all of these so modules are typically code modules individual applications client and server applications or a network this type of testing is specially relevant to the client server and distributed system where integration is of prime importance then the functional testing as i said functional testing is also the black box testing so this type type of testing ignores the internal part and focus on the output in as per requirement as i said the baseline document srs is taken into account and all the requirements which are being said here which are being uh, contracted between the developer and the person who has given us the task to develop this functionality are being tested so this black box type testing geared to function requirements of an application then system testing what is system testing now entire system is tested as per the requirements entire system means even if it has Uh, different uh, parts modules is one one application other application you combine them you have a hardware you combine them you you make a system as a whole and that entire system is tested as per the requirement the black box type testing that is based on overall requirement specification it covers all combined parts of a system that means it will check the function requirement also and it will check the non function requirement also end to end testing end to end testing 
This is similar to system testing as we just saw. Involves testing of a complete application environment in a situation that mimics the real world use, such as interacting with the database using network communications or interacting with other hardware application or systems if required or desired or appropriate. Sanity testing. What is this sanity testing? This is the testing to determine if a new software version is performing well enough to accept it for major testing effort. Please understand new software version is performing well enough to accept it for a major testing effort. If application is crashing for initial use, then system is not stable enough for further testing. And builder application is assigned to fixed regression testing. See, if I have certain uh, coding, if I add something, that addition may incur some error or may introduce certain error. So testing the application as a whole or the modification of any module or functionality. So if you have changed anything, you have added certain functionality, then you do the regression testing. Difficult to cover all the system in regression testing. So typically automation tools are used for this regression type of testing. Acceptance testing. Now the user want to accept, accept your system what you have developed. Normally this type of testing is done to verify if the system meets the customer specified requirements. User or customer do this testing to determine whether to accept application or not at their end. Load testing. Load testing, normally you know load testing, stress testing, these are the part of the performance testing mostly in the web based application. So it is a performance testing to check system behavior under load. Testing an application under heavy loads such as testing a website under a range of loads to determine at what point the system response time degrades or fails. Stress testing. What is the difference between stress and load? System is stressed beyond, beyond its specification. Load testing is done to see where it fails, how it fails, whether it fails gracefully or not, and at what time, what amount of load is being, uh, you know, at the last point or the threshold of the load. While system is stressed, that is in system testing, the system is stressed beyond its specification to check how and when it fails. This is performed under heavy load like putting large number of uh, large number beyond the storage capacity and just uh, you know relieving also certain, certain resource, resources. Complex database queries, continuous input to system or database flow. Performance testing. As we just said, stress and load are the part of performance testing. So term often used interchangeably with stress and load testing to check whether system meets the performance requirement. This is used, uh, you know, different performance and load tools to do this. We have different performance and load tools. Usability testing. Usability testing, that is, you are able to use it or not. That is, properly use it or not. Easy to use or not. So, user friendliness check. This is the user friendly friendliness check. Application flow is tested. Can you user understand the application easily? Do we have proper user manual or help document whenever user is stuck at any point? Basically, system navigation is checked in this testing. Install or uninstall testing. This is tested for full, partial or upgrade install uninstall process on different operating system under different hardware software environment. Recovery testing. This testing tells us how well a system recovers from crashes, hardware failures or any, any of the uh, catastrophic problems. Security testing. This can be penetrated by any hacking way. You know, someone may be told or given a task that please hack. He may find the the uh, backdoor entry or any loopholes in the program. So this is testing how well the system protects against unauthorized internal or external access. This is check if system database is safe from any external attacks. Compatibility testing. This testing tells us how well perform the software is performing in a particular hardware, software and operating system, network environment or different combinations of the above. So we say compatibility testing is software plus hardware configuration. This is, we want them to be compatible, your software to be compatible with different or varied type of hardware, software, operating system, network environment and different combinations. Comparison testing, comparison testing. This testing, is the comparison of product strength and weaknesses with the previous version or other similar products. 
the comparison between different versions is the comparison testing alpha testing alpha testing when your system is made it is ready to be delivered now in house virtual user environment can be created for this type of testing this is also known as over the shoulder testing testing is done at the end of development and uh, mostly users are there to see this testing still minor design changes may be made as a result of such testing beta testing now this is the final testing means testing typically done by the end users or your friendly customers final testing before releasing application for commercial purpose is your beta testing so these were few types of uh, testing thank you so much take care